Remember a while back when I put out a video showing you proof that they unearthed an Egyptian temple while they were building a dam in Tennessee? That video got over 2 million views, and so many of you came to me afterwards looking for a follow-up. Well, I got to work and found something that's going to blow your mind. This book was published by a U.S. Senator from Kentucky in 1824, and it was the first real published history of Kentucky. Copies of this book that haven't been censored are very rare to find, and this one cost me over $1,000 to bring to you today. But once you see what's in it, you'll know why they work so hard to keep it away from you. Here we see that the principal nations of the eastern continent which have contributed to the people of North America and Kentucky were the Adelans and Kutans, who came easterly through the Atlantic Ocean, and the Istikans and Algusians, who came westerly through the Pacific Ocean. The nations which peopled the western shores of the eastern continent were the Gomerians in Europe and the Atlantes in Africa. The Atlantes formed a powerful empire in North Africa, which gave laws to many nations. Numerous revolutions and invasions took place among those nations, until at last the Atlantes of Africa united them all by conquest in one powerful empire, which extended over North Africa, Spain, France, Italy, parts of Greece, Asia, etc., and lasted many ages under several dynasties and emperors. It was during the splendor of this empire that America was discovered by some bold navigators who were led by the trade winds to the West Indies, in a few days from the Atlantic Islands. They called them the Antilla Islands which meant before the land, and America was called Atala, or the Great Atlantes. He goes into great depth about these colonies, the different peoples, how they split up into the different tribes, how the colonies were eventually cut off from the rest of the world, and the Egyptians, um, many hundreds of years later, found them again, reestablished contact, and were eventually repulsed. So this is not just a general overview, it goes into great depth, and I will be reading more from this in future videos. It's very interesting that this initial belief that people came from North Africa to the Azores and then North America, where they had a colony, matches perfectly with the beliefs of the scholar who did the work on the temple in Tennessee. And he describes how they came from North Africa to the Azores and then to the area around Miami, Florida, where they named uh, many of the different areas, uh, such as Savannah. Uh, Savannah comes from Suwana, the Egyptian hieroglyphs meaning the place of trade. You can see that represented in this antique map with the uh, mound sites that are up the coast of Florida, culminating around the area where the river lets out in Savannah, Georgia, and traveling up that river to eastern Tennessee, where there's a huge uh, colony, which is where the temple in Tennessee was found. And one very important point I'd like everybody to make note of is that to write this book in 1824, there were no previous sources. They went out into the field and asked the real histories and opinions of the First Nations people and tried to record them accurately. This is before 200 years of propaganda and historical revisionism that modern historians and archaeologists are all guilty of. Now, I know that there's going to be people jumping in on my comments, attacking me, and trying to debunk me with the 30 seconds of propaganda that they read on Wikipedia. So, before we get there, let me just say that I personally have no problem admitting that people, ancient peoples of North Africa, were fully capable of sailing and creating colonies. Why do these people have to be so goddamn racist and ignore history? The modern PC environment is all about dividing us, but in reality, we went back and forth all over the world, talked, communicated, and shared ideas. That's just what humans do. I'll be doing a lot more content on these in the future, but for now, if you'd like more information, I'll be making these available on my website. So go to my website, jump on the mailing list, I'll let you know when they're available, and just don't be afraid of the truth. The truth is awesome.